they're so precious. <laughs> Babies. Baby, are they paddling? What is this an emergency? What's happening here? I don't know, but I love it. Hey guys, it's Stephanie with Simmerky and welcome to a build by overview in The Sims 4 Snowy Escape brand new expansion pack coming out soon. Thank you so much to the EA Game Changers program for providing me with early alpha access so that I can check it out for you guys. I'm going to be going over the build by objects, do my review of all the new items that come with The Sims 4 no Snowy Escape expansion pack. And I'm going to kind of categorize it into my favorite items and my least favorite items. So we're going to have a little battle here to see what I think are the five best items and the five worst items to come with the pack. Let's get right into it. I haven't seen anything yet. This is like literally my first look besides one single trailer. Oh my gosh, these new trees look amazing. I saw them in the trailer and I was really hoping we would get these. Luckily we did. It looks like that comes in one swatch, but the Japanese maple tree... Oh, that's so pretty. It looks like it comes in a couple different colors here. Oh, so we've got the green and the red. Nice. That'll give us a nice little variety from when we're building uh, to make the landscape fit in with the new world, which I also haven't seen yet, but I, oh, it looks so pretty from what I could tell. Oh, rocks. Oh, where did they go? Here we go. We got three new rocks. <gasps> oh, that's super. Actually, this is much needed. That's super exciting. We have a little zen trio oh my gosh look at all the colors whoa some come with moss on them okay that's pretty special oh i like these i think those are my favorite though those are really really cool i'll definitely be utilizing those and then look at oh my gosh it's because they have the sand around them that's really cool i like that i really like those with the moss and we have it looks like a tall one. Oh, perfect these are gonna be perfect for creating your beautiful zen gardens <gasps> The ones with the moss are like top notch already. Love those. Wow, those are so nice. Nice and big too. It takes up four four tiles. Oh my gosh, there's so many. Okay. Mountain sun door. Whoa. That's oh my god, I love that you can see right through it. And thankfully, thankfully, we have that new update where you can place doors and windows anywhere, which is, you know, a life changing. <laughs> Let's see what swatch these come in. Oh, how pretty. Dark brown, light brown. Whoa. <gasps> okay, love the wood grain on that one. Oh my gosh, they have all oh, multiple wood grain options. Oh, and the more like a modern feel, I guess, or more of a plain texture. All right, I like to leave these in my favorite swatches and that 100% favorite swatch in that door. Then we have some beautiful glass sliding double doors. Also very beautiful. Looks like we're going to have the same color. Wow, the same colorways in here. I actually might pick the dark one. I think it looks a little better against the wall we're using right now. Wow, super cool. And then we have a streamlined sliding door. So many options here. That's really, oh. Oh my god. Oh, oh. Wow, we don't have many drawers with stuff paint. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> we don't have many painted drawers, do we? This is phenomenal. I love, 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 love the cherry blossoms. So stinking cute. Large shoji slide. Holy seashells. That's a big door. Very nice. Oh man, I'm just in love with these wood grain patterns. The big mountain sliding door, very cute. Oh my gosh, that's nice. Oh, and these are, okay, these are open. We were trying to speculate from the trailer if these were gonna be open or if they shut and stay closed. It looks to me, I'll have to check in gameplay, but it looks to me like they just stay constantly open which is really cool which i have a really cool tutorial on how to make your own open doors if you want to check that out uh if you check out my tutorials linked in the description you can check those out oh even more options than i was hoping oh these are so pretty i love how beautiful they are this would work in a lot of different types of homes oh my gosh that's so pretty i absolutely are we sure this is the shortest wall it really is i was hoping this would be a little taller but we do have a lot of plain tall windows like that so i guess it is nice to have a different size and variety these are really cute too very nice and i assume these all have the same swatches as the doors. Yeah. Oh, that's 
that's nice. It's not a full wall, but I think it's okay. That'll be fun to work with for sure. We can do some interesting stuff. These also come in a taller version, which is nice. And then it looks like, okay, this has a different bottom. Wow, they gave us so many options. This is extremely versatile. Super, super cool. Wow, I, I actually can't believe all the options. Oh, that's super cute. I love that. That is so pretty. Wow. I am literally impressed by the windows. I'm surprised how many there are. Which is, like I said, great because we don't really have anything in this style. So, dang, there's a lot of dang windows. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna die. Hold on, I need to use a blank wall for this. Oh my god, they're so precious. <laughs> Are they paddling? What is this a mercury? What's happening here? I don't know, but I love it. Oh, I'm gonna need a moment. I'm gonna need a moment. Oh, oh, <laughs> pink mercury is okay. Yes. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I was so excited about the mountain tiles in the trailer and a little did we know there's kitty. This is really cool too. Some different borders, some different borders than normal. I forgot you can't color swatch these. We're just gonna, not with the key. Oh my god, the kitties, I can't. <laughs> okay, I don't know if I, I usually go through every color swatch, but this might be a long video. So let's, let's just, they're all pretty neutral, pretty pretty neutral oh these are pretty this oh my god i saw this in the trailer and oh the wood grain yes oh much needed we actually need so many new outdoor wallpapers and this is a, a wonderful addition all right let's check out our flooring i was hoping for a little bit more but you know three will do that's kind of cool to tommy yeah to tommy mats uh Okay, there's, oh, they're very neutral. They're very subtle, very subtle changes. Oh, sand lines. I was hoping it was carpet. Oh my God, how long has it been since we've gotten like some nice new carpet? I might just use this as carpet. Could I just use this as carpet? Will anyone be like, oh, I guess that does look like sand. <laughs> well, oh, oh my God, for your Zen gardens. That could have, that could have been a spray like an actual train paint would have been nice too but that's cool i like that you know i really wish there was a matching wood flooring to that wallpaper but this this will do this will do okay let's see what the new foundation is Ooh, that's nice it's it's a platform a nice platform i like the thick trim around it Ooh, we actually needed some more plain square columns because we have like one or two but I, I overuse them I'd have to do a side by side oh my god that wood, that wood grain a new set of spandrels <gasps> okay shut the front door <laughs> those are so pretty they remind me of fans like beautiful fans and all the color wow okay Ooh, hold on <laughs> expect that to change <gasps> okay this is me being greedy but I wish we had every style and every color like why are these really oh why are we only limited to a couple colors is that a bamboo fence it is a bamboo forest fence oh, that one has like the nice red look how nice it matches with the tree oh and there's a short one as well oh those look wonderful why don't all the fences have matching gates that always bugs me so the tall bamboo fence doesn't have a gate oh that's a shame i don't know what will match it and we got new stairs very cool very cool wouldn't expect anything less Hopefully there's a new railing as well. There, okay, at least there's matching railings. I, oh my gosh, there's doors and windows at different wall heights. Oh, it's a tad smidge too high. I would have loved to have that floor to ceiling. I really would have. That would have been an amazing addition, but I mean, we have, we have that swatch, which must mean we have uh, a couple of doors. Okay, so we have this door. Is this a different door? 
It is. It's a different door in a taller height. Hmm. Again, me being greedy, I would have liked all the doors and all the heights, but I don't think they ever really do that. Wow. Oh, these would make beautiful barn doors or garage doors or something like that. We have some wall decor. What is this? Reinforce and retreat cedar bars. Oh, that's not... Ooh. Oh, thank God those layer nicely. That's fun. That's really cool. It's a little bit different than the ones we have in like seasons and stuff. What's this? That's really something, something special. And then we have a new awning. Okay, that's cute. Ooh, oh. Please tell me there's new roof patterns. New roof patterns, that's much needed. Three of them. Ooh. Ah, ah, I love that color too. Ooh, yes, yes. That's, okay, that is stunning. <laughs> oh my God, look at this one. Wow, these are wonderful roof textures. Oh yeah, oh, okay. I like that. And what was the other one? There was one more. That's neat. I don't think I've seen a sign like that. Oh. See, again, I know all the colors kind of go together, but I kind of wish all of these came in their own spot. I know I asked for so much. A color wheel would just solve all my problems. <laughs> I would have to say my favorite, of course, we already know, is the kitty wall. <laughs> and then I literally adore the door. I adore the door. <laughs> you know which one. You know which one. Oh my god, it looks like the kitty's on top of the door. Uh, oh, yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't even remember anything else. They, these. These are my favorite in the roof swatch. That's not five items, but you know. That's close enough. Oh my gosh, imagine if it opened and you had a little peekaboo of the kitty. So one, two, three, four, five. There we go. There's my five favorite objects. And I guess in the fashion of this video, those are the five best. Let's find the five worst. Okay, this was actually kind of a hard decision, but I would have to say that for me personally, the five worst or the five items I'll probably use the least out of this pack, I believe are gonna be the bamboo fence just because there's no gate. I mean, I'll probably figure out a way to make it work because we don't have any other bamboo fence like that, but I'm really disappointed there's no gate. Um, this wall is pretty cool. I mean, we definitely could use some more stone tiles, but it is kind of reminiscent of some ones that we have already in other packs. So I wouldn't say it's gonna be my go-to item, probably something I'll easily forget about, uh, as well as the sand. I kind of wish the sand lines were terrain paint so we can make some really cool zen gardens I mean otherwise like they're just going to be so flat like if this is what we're doing our zen garden with like it there's no natural line like I don't I don't know are we going to just close it off with a fence or something um I didn't pick both of them because you know I guess it's nice to have one of these but I mean even even <sighs> I guess we can include them both in this. How are we gonna mix and match these? I don't even, and they're not even in the outdoor section. What the heck section are they in? Miscellaneous. Like, I just don't feel like they're gonna flow that naturally together. I don't know why these weren't terrain paints instead. That would have made much more sense to me. The Just the harsh lines, I don't get it. And uh, the platform is nice. We have other platforms though, I have to say. It's not, I shouldn't call it a platform. What is it called? The stilt foundations. I mean, like, honestly, when you get down to the nitty gritty, is there a huge difference? I mean, yeah, it doesn't have the metal on it, but I don't use stilt foundations that often. And even if I did, I'll probably forget we have that one. And then the roof sign. Again, it's kind of a cool concept, but I don't know. Unless it's some cultural thing I can't, you know, I don't know about offhand. I can't imagine sticking a giant sign on the roof like maybe on the top of a square building but definitely not on the slanted roof I don't know and again I don't like that um they don't have swatches like what if I was building a really nice you know I don't know white theme and then like this has white in it but then what if the brown kills like the rest of my white house it's just I want more why make this so limited that we don't have any items like this so if we were to use this it would be nice to have some actual options for each swatch so i would say these are my five worst items and these are my five favorite items now let's move on to the buy objects the stuff the furnishing the furniture the decor the 
what's it called? <laughs> the pond thing. The, 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 the hot springs. <sighs> okay, let's go. I'm legit already so excited. I haven't even clicked on anything yet. It is time for, oh my gosh, the furniture, the furnishings and the furniture. This bed is so pretty. It's a very nice, simple, minimalist style with a beautiful, beautiful bed spread. Whoa. Oh, it's our void critter. <laughs> oh, babies. The new mascot. Oh my gosh, I love this little dude. I don't know what it is, but... I legit love it. Oh, that's nice. Very nice. Very nice neutral, neutral bed. Oh, that's nice too. It's a little pop of green. There's a skier, a snowboarder, border, a mountain climber. Pink. Oh my god, look at that little pop of pink. Oh yes. That is gonna be like one of my go-to beds for sure. And the all white. Oh my gosh, we rarely get beautiful all white swatches. I don't know why I'm obsessed with all white beds. I tend to use those a lot. Um Love that. I think I think those are my two favorite swatches, including the pink. <gasps> Look at the headboard. That is so pretty. Again, such unique shape and style that we don't have in the game. This is going to add a lot, a lot to our builds for sure. I love that that also comes in that beautiful pure white. Look how natural and soft the blanket looks. I would legit feels so cozy in this the dark frame with the white sheets oh that's so cozy oh my gosh look at the pattern oh there oh this is an actual pure white one oh the other one's beige oh i i know that these don't have as many patterns as the i guess kids one did but they're very elegant i would have to say this is probably my favorite though i definitely love that it's just so simple and so pretty i mean that headboard is incredible chairs oh my gosh always with the chairs <laughs> a snow drift chair Ooh, that's neat Ooh, okay i really legitimately like the shape of that very nice beautiful neutral swatches as well i know i'm a very um pink and blue favorite color person but it's nice it's nice these are just gonna go with so many different things oh my gosh that has a little fur hopefully faux fur a little faux fur blankie <gasps> the cozy comfy vibes oh my gosh for real at least white goes with everything I do have to say uh as long there's not a black swatch but well, yeah, kind of black and gray. I feel like as long as there's like a black, gray, and a white beige option, they kind of go with everything. So that's nice. Oh my gosh. I usually don't like the super simple. Okay, this is why I was. <laughs> I don't like the super simple style, but I think I'm going to start embracing it more. This is why it was freaking out. This is the cutest little poof ever. Science and the Ottoman, an elite team of highly accredited research scientists, have debated the issue for many years and recently assembled the hypothesis that beauty is in the eye of the beholder. I don't care who you are. These Ottomans are just as cute as the Dickens. You ain't gotta be a genius to see that. Okay, please, please be the best watches on the planet because this is already going in every kid's room ever for the rest of my life. Ah! <laughs> are those void critters? Oh my gosh, look at the little cheekies. They're void critters. Woo! Didn't expect that. Hello. Oh my gosh, the texture on these are incredible. I was hoping there'd be a few more characters, but such a versatile little poof. Again, me being greedy, I wish there was a set of different characters with the cute little bottoms. And then I wish there was um, a separate set with a ton of swatches for the more uh, simple ones but that is not the thing is i'm gonna forget like i'm gonna see this swatch forever <laughs> when i'm scrolling through and i will forget about these beautiful plain ones in here but i love those this is nice again we have some nice plain chairs like this i don't know if it's base game or another pack but the shape the shape is a little bit different and we have another chair that's a little chair oh that's cute i bet you that would be cute for like the kids desks or something Ooh, hey hello 
pretty swatch I wish came on all the furniture so y'all matched. And a stool, this is beautiful. Okay, I do have a little gripe with the couches in this game. None of them ever look super comfy, like nothing I would just like wanna sink into. But I have to say this one is beautiful. Very simple, but detailed at the same time. I love the little wooden drink rest, armrest. Not sure what that is. Um, very nice. Oh, oh, oh. That is special. That That's special. That's beautiful. <laughs> and again, like this just looks so uncomfortable. I wish this folded out into a futon. It's a love seat. Can you imagine if we had some versatile tiny living stuff uh, or eco lifestyle stuff that wasn't like that giant Murphy bed and it was something like this that was so simple and so pretty and just folded out into a bed at night or even just served as a multi-purpose function where they could legit sleep and not nap on it. That would have been incredible. But this, this is going to make for a very cute, very cute living room. They are, they're the new kitchen counters. <gasps> yeah. I'm definitely gonna have to play around with, um, I'm glad they came empty because in the trailer they had stuff in them. And I'm so, oh, plain black and plain white. These are actually gonna be super versatile, I have to say. I wanna slot all the different kitchen items in there. It is, it's a dining table. That's cute. That's, oh, oh, oh okay, swapped, hold on. <laughs> hold on. Oh. Oh, I remember that from the trailer. That's so cool. That one's so elegant. Oh, that is pretty. Little cherry blossoms, I think. Wait, oh, I wish this had flowers. Where's the pink? Oh, it's very faint. Oh my gosh, I don't know if it's my game, but like we could barely see that. This is cool. This multi-function. So it's a table. It's a warmer. I'm pretty sure your Sims could nap on it. <laughs> I, I like the patterns. I definitely, again, like that there's a black and a white and then a couple fun patterns thrown in here. I do really like that. Like that's a beautiful color. And then of course the bigger one, very, very nice. I'm so glad the hot pot isn't attached to it either. I was kind of worried from the trailer and nice dining table. I could see this used in a lot of homes. Very simple, clean design, nice basic colors here. Definitely can see a lot of use for that. Again, it looks like they just constructed it themselves. Like nice handmade quality wood furniture. <laughs> and this is a coffee table. That's really cute. We don't have, I mean, we do have a lot of square coffee tables. I don't know if we have a ton shape like this though. That would actually make a really cute outdoor table, like a little patio table. Oh, and the bedside table. I love that that's more sleek. Sometimes these bedside tables are huge and gigantic. And again, simple white, simple black will literally probably go with any anything. And then we have a beautiful coffee table. I like the different boards on that. That's a nice little touch. So it's not just super plain. Very cute. And a desk. Oh, okay. Okay, just a plain little desk. Again, super nice. I don't think anything will slot in there, but I bet if you use like the red shelf or something or just any shelf, you get a little book up in there. Oh, I missed this. World's fastest table? Oh, <laughs> it's a console table with a little snowboard built into it. Cute. What a nice way to repurpose an old snowboard. Those are wonderful swatches. Really like the mountain one. Probably use that quite a bit. Uh, the mountain lore shelf. Nice. So I think these are what they gave us in replacement for kitchen cabinets, which maybe just, I don't know, maybe, uh, maybe ugh, they've not been giving us kitchen cabinets. I've been praying for more, but I do like this, even not just for the kitchen, just like a standalone item. That's pretty cool. Uh, a safe tea deposit box. <laughs> Is this for tea? Oh my gosh. My heart be still. These are so beautiful. Oh, I could just see these anywhere in a hallway. Oh my gosh, I wish we had storage like this for like legit under the stairs. Oh my heart. Oh my gosh, best pattern ever. So, oh, super cute. Come on, I mean, come on. <laughs> 
I wish the canisters were a little bit more versatile on this one, but I guess it makes sense so it matches a lot of stuff. But if it had a little bit of that pink or blue in there, that'd be a beautiful little match. I love the, we have nothing like this. Nothing like this. These are great. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, I was supposed to be sorting these as favorites and least favorites. I'll go back and do it at the end because I'm so far loving everything. <laughs> oh, look at the little cushions on the, there's two picnic tables. <gasps> one with the cushion and one with the fur. Oh, ooh, 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 um, I think I like that one the best. Very cute. So, co they're just, I get cozy by vibes. There's a new sink. Cool. I don't think we've had one of those in a while. One that fits into the cabinets or the uh, counters. I like that. I like that. The ones we have now are so like traditional. This could definitely go into a nice modern build. And of course, I mean, the, the white isn't fully white and the black isn't fully black, but I mean, those are pretty. I like that swatch a lot. And we have a new toilet, always. Ah, <laughs> that's actually kind of cool. See, I could have seen this style and shape, but shorter without the panel in Tiny Living, but like the toilet we got was so weird. This is actually pretty cool. I wonder if it does anything funny. Like, I wonder if you could talk to it. Oh my God, it comes to pick it. Like, my favorite color swatches came on the toilet and nothing else. But you know what? Well, a couple other things, but I'll take it. I'll, I'll take it. I'll take a pink toilet any day. <laughs> oh no. No, 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 no. I forgot how excited I was about this. I literally forgot about this until just now. Oh, the mirror is attached to it. Okay, I don't like that the mirror is attached to it. Dang it, we only have one other wall shower in the game. Why make it attached? I could have put any mirror I wanted there. Why do that? I would much rather these be two separate items. Please, please separate these. I know sometimes you listen, Sims. <laughs> please separate these. They just took like the versatility away from it because of the mirror attached. I got so freaking excited. Oh no, please don't make this be one like the worst item in the pack because of that. Oh, the tub is cool. I'm so disappointed about the shower, guys. I, ugh, I'm very disappointed. At least that bucket, whatever that bucket was in the trailer, I was afraid that would be attached to it too. This is nice. I don't know how comfortable it would be. I don't know. I've never used a wooden tub, but. Uh, oh, man. Wait, there's two hot spring baths? No. Okay. That's why we, I think we thought there was new ponds, didn't we? I don't know. The trailer was really misleading. I don't, I don't, I don't, oh, I guess you could hide part of it with rocks. I like how the water is different. Okay. Neat. Like, amazing. Like, just got super excited. <laughs> Those are waterfalls. They're waterfalls. And this is the one we saw in the trailer. Wow, these are much bigger than I thought, but that's good. I mean, they're hot springs. I Honestly, it could even be bigger and I'd be happy. I like it. I wish this came in a couple more swatches than three. It's like literally the only hot springs we have. Uh, this would have been nice with a little natural waterfall, but I bet we could make one with some fountains. I'm very excited about these, like super excited. Uh, My little Marimo aquarium, shut up, what? Favorite item it didn't even know existed. And it comes in pink. Cute little aquatic moss balls. Oh, there's no fish. We'll listen to your problems without judgment. We'll never be late to brunch date and never spill your significant other. Family need a bit of tender, loving care and clean, cold water. Now that's a maintenance, low maintenance relationship. I'll just check. I don't think we could put fish in there. That'd be really cool if we could. But if not, that's super adorable. I really hope we could put fish in there. We have a nice radiator. This is nice because I think we have one other one from like a really fancy bag and that's nice and just modern and versatile and we'll go with anything. Black and white. Great. The other swatches seem a little out of place with this pack. Um, okay. I was really hoping that these would be able to be used as furnishings. Like I, I was hoping that they weren't just like an object that appears when you ski. So that is really nice. Lots of fun colors. Like honestly, the colors, the swatches of these give me life. I would have loved to see some of the furniture incorporate some of these. I understand that that 
was probably a bit much, but the, the snow cone, the snow cone, they're not even snow cones, they're ice cream. I know nothing about skiing and sledding and all that stuff, but uh, there's a bunch in here. I will, I will let you look at all the swatches yourself because uh, I'm just like bored to the furniture, but looks like there's lots of fun patterns. This is really cool. I was hoping those lights would be something we could wrap around columns or windows or something. Maybe there will be something in this pack, but that's super cool. Different bar that we don't have. I like, I like all the little furnishings on it. What's the back look like? Oh, oh really? Those lights are cute. Please tell me we have those lights separately. Please, please. <laughs> Tent, nice. This, ooh, pink and blue. See, snuck in some more pink and blue in there. I actually like that blue one, very pretty. Uh, food stalls, always love new food stall. What is that? It's like a fish cookie. Sushi. More sushi? I don't know what that is. Not sushi. I don't know what that is. Oh, look at the little ice cream. <laughs> Ooh, ramen. Oh my gosh. Can I? Are these different color swatches? No. I'm getting huh. the plants. The plants. The plants. Move out of the way, food stalls. We got. I love little plant decor. I'm, I'm like crying again. <laughs> oh, this is, oh. I love you. Oh, you know I want these all separated, but that is pretty. Of course I want them all separated, but come on. Please, <laughs> stop giving us trios of quadruple, I don't know, quint sets. Oh, I was gonna say no color swatches. Oh. Oh my gosh, I need these separate. At least that big middle piece with the tree, I need it separate. And this, I need that separate. Uh, I know modders are probably gonna separate them. I don't use CC, but oh my God. Cute, something really fun and different, obviously, stuff we don't have in the game. I don't know what that cat thing is, but I like it. <laughs> is it a cat? I don't know what it is. Whoa, okay, that's really pretty. Whoa, those are, whoa kids room. Ooh, ooh, I love, oh, oh, some graffiti. Oh, see these, ooh, that's cute. That's cute. <laughs> okay, Fat Kitty is the cutest thing ever. Oh my gosh. I love these. We have those really, really pretty, like long oh, wall scrolls that came in City Living, and I always want more vertical style paintings and things. Oh, Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, my God. So pretty. Oh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I love her. This just makes me want to paint. Like, I literally want to go make art. Look how precious that is. I could see using that in, like, every build ever. Okay, so there is a separate... Oh my God, that's gonna... Mm, I, my heart breaks at that so much. The, oh, I thought that was gonna be a lot bigger. I actually kind of like it small. These are cute. I was speculating in the trailer. I couldn't tell at first if that was an actual tree outside casting a shadow or if the blinds had patterns and they do have patterns. These are curtains too. Those are cute. Those are cute. I mean, I mean there's a plain black and white. There is a plain black and a plain white. But again, I'm just like, I'm such a stickler for colors because again, I love this, but I don't use browns a lot. So if I was doing a really nice, pretty white room and I wanted some nice white curtains to go along with it, I'm stuck with this color wood no matter what. It'd be nice if they had matching swatches. Do they have matching swatches? Oh my gosh, I don't think they do. Would be nice if these were matching each other. I mean, I guess kinda. I don't know. What is that? Pancakes? I have no idea. <laughs> Carp streamers. Ooh. Oh, okay. Nice and tall. Very. Oh my gosh. I like that. Ooh. I can also see using these in Solani, to be honest. They would probably look beautiful with island living and the little sports activities. That's nice. That'll be great. That'll be great for like snowy builds and mountain builds. And ah, the van. How is this so precious? <laughs> oh. Oh, I love the snowman. I love this. Oh my gosh. That's too much. <laughs> that's 
too cute. The shrine. Okay. I know there was some controversy around this. I don't know if it was the shrine itself or the movement or the symbolism of it. So I don't know. I, I honestly should have done some more research, but I think they said they were fixing some things that were in the trailer that were offensive. But I'm just looking at it from a decorative object viewpoint and I like I like the colors, I like the style. Ooh, okay, this must be a great thing for like festivals and stuff. That's pretty, oh my gosh, like literally next to this. Oh, uh, wait, why are they called paranormal plates? Hold on, we could check the slotting options now. Oh, I was hoping we would get plates. Oh my gosh, paranormal? Those plates aren't gonna stack themselves. Way that looks like symmetrical, symmetrical plate stacking reminds me of the movie I once saw. Probably not. No human has stacked their plates like that in over 40 years. I bead. Is that not common? I don't get it. <laughs> okay, please be amazing swatches because I just want plate decor everywhere. Okay. Okay, very pretty. Very pretty. As long as there's plain black and plain white, they'll match anything. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know, they're very, I think that original swatch is my favorite. Very much needed item. Like I love kitchen clutter and I'm totally gonna take advantage of those. And these I think are little tea, they are little tea cans. Look at the bunny. Okay, see, I wish there was more of this type of stuff on the furniture. I mean, look how cute this stuff is. I guess I could just decorate, you know, the furnishings how I want them, but oh my gosh, that's cute. And this, this bucket footstool thing. I'm really glad it's not attached to the shower. Why the mirror? Can we like petition for them to remove the mirror? That literally ruins all my plans for my one tile bathrooms. I mean, maybe I could still make it work, but I don't even know what this does. Bucket and footstool. What? That's beautiful though. Look at the crane. Oh, oh, that texture. How do you size down? Mm, too big for a table, but not too big for a little statue inside of the house. Hmm, don't know how much I'll use it, but that's really neat. Oh, this is cute. I love this. I don't think that, yeah, those are just the ends of the wood. I was hoping those were lights. Oh my God, these are fun. Oh, these are fun. Pride banners for Mount Karebi. I'm probably saying that wrong. Oh, the little Daruma doll, that's cute. Dolls are traditionally given to those who need encouragement or help setting life goals. I love that. Yay! Okay, this mascot, oh, I was hoping he was tiny too. This mascot thing is just wonderful though. I love him. What's his name? Yamachin? Yamachin. Ah, I love it. Oh, love the colors. A Zen garden rock. Oh, interesting, that's not with the rock section. Hmm. Is it supposed to look that weird and flat? Like what, am I missing something? Like what is this? Is it supposed to look flat or is it supposed to look like rocks in 3D? I don't get these. A faux fur rug. Okay, I mean, I like that it's small, but I'm gonna make it bigger in my builds. I'm probably gonna use that. I like the uh, faux rugs we got in a few other packs, but those are square. So these would be great for layering for sure. Great layering rugs, some pretty decent colors too. Okay, the fireplace, I have to say, I was so excited to see this in the trailer. This one, there's two of them. There's two, I didn't expect two new ones. They're very lovely. Uh, I just, I wanna put them outdoors. I love the little stone texture. Ooh, that has different patterns on the back. That's really nice. I'm in love with these. Modesty Matters Privacy Divider. Is that for the, oh, that's for the showers, I think. Oh, I'd love to see people build their own beautiful custom showers with these. I bet you we could do some fun stuff. I'm just like really, oh, why is that mirror there? Like for real. I could put whatever beer I want there. Why you restrict me to that beer? I don't know. That's cool though. I really like that. I really, and these little bottles are life. I saw these in the trailer and I freaked out. Oh, they're just as cute as I hoped. <laughs> Aww, I love 
love, 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 love those. Okay, we got some window bars. Cool, interesting. Um, ah, I like this wall decor. Cute, little mountain climbing stuff. Lots, so much wall decor. This, I think this is a sign that if you put this in your house, Sims will take their shoes off. I don't know if all the swatches are just the two that say no shoes. Um, oh, okay, hold on. I love stuff like this because I love making cute family homes. Oh, is this, oh, I didn't realize this is like a ceiling decor, not necessarily blinds, I think. I don't know, I could be wrong. But I love it, I love the backpack. Uh, I love that it's like a set of old skis or something. This is gonna go really nicely in entryways and mud rooms and laundry rooms and even in a closet. That's nice. I like that. That might even look cute in an office because again, we don't know what it says. It could say whatever we wanted to say. Oh, this is so cute. Oh my gosh. Yes, 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 yes. I love it. Employee award, okay, cool, it's got that cool wood grain at least. All right, next we have a luxury shoji screen. I'm so sorry if I pronounced anything wrong, but that's beautiful. Another one, ooh, that one's really pretty. I wish they had like a really nice traditional one. Those are cool, these are perfect. I wish we had like a really ornate traditional one. That is cute. Okay, maybe I will make a reason to use these just because they're freaking adorable. Love them. Oh, it's a rag for the snowboards and skis and stuff. Ooh. Oh, so it could be like the display. Oh, I love the lucky cat with a bowhawk. Does he have a bowhawk? Okay, he's perfect. Oh my God, look at the little bear with the fit. I, uh, I want all the stuff separated. I know that's asking a lot. I want all this stuff separated. <laughs> All the clutter. That, that I want these separate. I want it all separate. Activity table. Okay, I feel like we have a million of these. I would have liked something else, but I guess the little origami cranes make that worth it. Okay, it's at least it's got some cute patterns, but my gosh, we have so many of these kids' activity tables. I don't know. A new science set, finally. Is this for the kids, too? It is. Good, because that other one literally comes in one swatch, and I hate it, and this looks much more cool. That land, oh my gosh, this probably has some beautiful swatches. It has to, right? Oh no, come on. What a, what a missed opportunity to put some cranes and some cherry blossoms a lantern and a paper cylinder okay this one's got to have the cool swatches right yeah yeah there we go a stone lantern i love these i saw this in the trailer and i loved it only a couple colorways but that's nice a lantern and a rock this is very special we don't have anything like this uh a night owl table lamp okay that's cute i can see that on a desk for sure and a side table by the bed uh, I'll save some of the lighting, so we might need a wall for that. These are cute. I like these. Again, I don't know how much I'll use them. I don't really use the ones that come in the other packs, um, but it's nice to have some, some Japanese-style ones. That's pretty. I like those colors. Oh, I didn't even notice the little post. The post. This, honestly, I know it's meant to go on the end cap of this, but I would honestly just put this around just like that. For real. I would use that just like that. Uh, another, wow, okay, a big one. A oh my God, that one has a handle in it. Cute. <laughs> Ooh, we have a fridge. I'm so sorry my stuff's all out of order. I guess I should have went room by room, but I just got so excited. We got a fridge. Very nice. It looks like it's like built into a cabinet, a wall. See, this is why we need matching cabinets because if we had matching cabinets for the counters, we can make it look like one giant nice wall unit. Like, why do we not have the cabinets? That kind of ruins these for me. Like, I don't know. They're so perfect. Matching cabinets would have just taken it over the top of the next level. This is great. We needed a flat top stove so badly. Uh, thank gosh it comes in <laughs> plain white, plain black. That will match a lot of stuff. Much needed. Much needed for our, our islands. 
Uh, there's the hot pot that just makes me so happy. It looks like you could put it at any service, maybe. I don't know if this is a coffee table or a dining table, but I love, I'm glad this is a separate piece. Okay, here's where I'm gonna like start complaining about the swatches again. That's it for swatches. One of the most unique items in the game, something we've never had before in The Sims 4. And there's only four swatches. I mean, at least there's like a reddish pink, a blue, a black, and a white. At least I like those colors, but why stop there? We have nothing else like this in the game. We'll probably never get anything like this ever in the game again. And four swatches, kind of disappointing. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, oh, please tell me this works like a real mailbox and it's not just some like weird wall decor because I would love a functioning wall mailbox, please. I think the one from, I don't know, the one that we got from City Living or something. I don't know what it came with. University never works for me. Love the new bin. This is going to match so many more interiors because the other ones we had just were so stylized. This is very plain and beautiful and will go with anything. Um, a talking recycling bin vending machine oh my gosh guys that one looks like it has toys in it see the these are like the colors and styles i really expected in some of the furniture i don't know why is that like soup in a can <laughs> Ooh, another beautiful item is that a bookshelf yes uh, oh my gosh a different type of dresser i love that you can see the fabric inside I don't know how I'm going to pick five favorite items, guys. This is going to be extremely difficult. Love the locker with the little baskets. I would even just use that at my regular house. I don't even care that it's a locker. Is this a new woohoo bush? Please be a new woohoo bush. I think if you compete it, it should be a woohoo bush too. Maybe. Oh, new bathroom. <laughs> new ceiling light. Very cute. I know my lot's starting to look like a hot mess right now, but okay, nice. I like the plain black. I like the plain white. Could definitely use that in a lot of builds. Uh, this is super cute. Very pretty. I'm glad we have some wall lanterns. Oh, pink and blue for sure. I do like that they added so much pink and blue. And another little lantern. We have like three little, no, we have like a, if you count the outdoor ones, we have like a million new little lanterns, but hey. Not going to complain about that. I feel like lanterns are very, um, I don't know. Like when you think of Japan, you definitely I think of stuff like that. So that's great. I think that, that, that everything, I'm going to do a separate video with debug items, but I, I don't, that's, I, it's a lot of stuff, but I also want, why do I want more? I want more. Okay. This was insanely difficult and it's so strange because based off the trailer and based off of what ended up happening here, my favorite, at least favorite items changed a little bit. So let's start with my favorite. Obviously this hot springs is amazing. I'm a mermaid. I love water. I didn't even like properly introduce myself in this video, but I am a self-proclaimed mermaid. I love seahorses, unicorns, rainbows, kittens, and the color pink. And every mermaid needs a beautiful hot spring. I love this. I'm going to add my own fountains, my own flowers, my own everything, and just make this a beautiful staple piece that I probably end up using in a lot of my builds. Um, I didn't even, it does size down. I wonder how it works sized up and down. Okay. Obviously not up, but, uh, it's okay. I broke it now. I broke it. Number one favorite item of the entire pack and then i okay i kind of cheated a little bit over here i know that you know okay let me explain <laughs> this isn't an item that i would normally go for i love the fireplaces obviously i love the outdoor ones uh i saw this in the trailer and fell in love with it and it is just as beautiful as i was hoping super adorable i just feel like this is gonna be a beautiful setting to make some beautiful porches and yards and cozy covered spots around the cabins and the houses and the lodges and whatever we end up making there's just something about it that gives me these warm cozy vibes i could see a beautiful family hanging around it and it's cool we don't have many things shaped like this so i love the uniqueness of it now where i cheated over here <laughs> 
is I know the hot pot is separate than the katatsu. I guess if I really had to pick one, I would pick the hot pot. I am a family style builder. I love building family homes. I also love tiny houses and I don't know exactly how this functions, but I can imagine uh, if we have a sim here, we can test it that you click on it and you can prepare food. I hope a, a stove isn't needed on top of it, but uh, either way, it's a great option for food. I love food items. I feel like if you can cook on it without a stove, maybe I'll find out for you uh, soon and <laughs> insert it somewhere in this video. Um, you can have portable food options anywhere for tiny homes and camping and all sorts of fun stuff. So if I had to pick one of those, I would pick the hot pot, but I combine them because they just go together, right? Okay, I promised I would like try to test this hot pot. Hot pot for one. Oh gosh, that's expensive. Um, let's do some Yosanabi, I guess. Please be able to prepare without a counter or stove or fridge or anything. I don't know if it'll work that way, but if it will, it'll be game changing, life changing. It is not. Oh, I didn't hit play. <laughs> I was gonna say he's not moving. <laughs> please, 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 please. Yes, yes, yes. You could literally cook without a stove. <laughs> Yes, dang dang, yes. <laughs> Favorite item in the pack, hot pot for the win. And then this was surprising. I mean, I really like these vertical wall scrolls. I don't, I didn't expect to love wall art this much. I didn't even see the puffer fish the first time around. But I just feel like this just encompasses this pack so nicely. It's got such beautiful Japanese imagery, gorgeous colors. It's just perfect. I, I just feel like I'm going to put this in so many homes. And this little fat kitty just makes me so stinking happy. I love it. Uh, I would have put the tile here with the kitties on it too, but I already like went over that in the build by. So I just put wallpaper that kind of matched just for not having a blank concrete wall. And then I also cheated here because this is technically two objects, okay? But I love the new stove and the new counters. I mean, perfection. Uh, literally, I'm so disappointed that we don't have matching cabinets. I will actually try to like, I don't know. I don't know. I have a platform. Sims, if you're listening, I will do anything for matching cabinets. Um, this is such a versatile, amazing stove, an amazing counter. You can put anything you want in it. It'll fit anywhere. They fit together nicely. It's just pure perfection. And the fact that there's no cabinet... It really breaks my heart. Like, I almost thought of putting these in my least favorite, but I couldn't because they're so cool. Why? Why? I would do anything for matching cabinets. Please, I want to make my cool little build-outs with the fridge and make it look like a nice unit. And I want to make islands and have floating cabinets. And I'm just so sad. But this is one of my favorite new items. Item. Uh, so one, two, three, four. I don't know. I just love these. What can I say? They're amazing. They're adorable. I have so much fun building with these. And now to the worst items in the pack. All right. These are items I'm severely disappointed in. Instead of putting all the kitchen stuff over here as worst, I put this shelf. Now, it, it, obviously the shelf is cool. I like the shelf. I'm going to use the shelf. But I feel like it was the replacement for cabinets and I would have rather had cabinets. So that's why I'm mad at this item. Just out of pure spite, I'm mad that it took up what could have been cabinets. I'm sure, way easier and cheaper to bake. But ugh, I need cabinets, please. I can't stress that enough. Uh, the next least favorite item is this thing. Like, I don't know if I'm just missing something, but like, what? on earth it's supposed to be some sort of flat stone i don't know if it looks better in the snow it is so like the texture is awful it's not 3d at all like i have no idea what's going on but i hate it like i actually this bothers me i don't know am i missing something it's supposed to be a zen garden rock like i don't get it i, I don't understand first of all it's not in the rock section and second of all like this is beautiful this is beautiful. This is beautiful. What the hell is this? Like, I don't even... Is it supposed to go underneath? Is this our substitute for terrain paint? Like, I'm so confused. Oh, I can't even grab it. I'm so angry. <laughs> I am so confused by this thing. I just don't understand. Why does it look like absolute weird? I don't... It, I don't... I don't... I don't get it. All right, next item uh, that I'm disappointed in. Again, I understand it brings in that Japanese style with the 
the origami and the little, you know, fish thingies. I forgot what they're called, the fish thingies. But we have so many kids' activity tables. And as far as I know, they all function the same way. I don't know if I'm missing something and maybe it has some sort of different gameplay to it. But, like, we have so many of these. What, what a waste of an item, I feel like. Like, any of the other activity tables... I feel could work. It's not like their style is so specialized that it wouldn't match. I mean, look, for, even the base game one matches. Like, why couldn't this work? I don't understand. It's, it's we, don't, we don't need it. And then speaking of that, I mean, come on. We, this, again, if this has some sort of, like, extra gameplay I don't know about, it's literally just this. It's this. But, like, it looks a little different. And yeah, it's nice to have new swatches because this stupid thing has no swatches, but like, I almost feel like you could have just added swatches to this and like, it'd been a done deal. Like what? <sighs> just frustrated. I'm just frustrated. <laughs> I mean, it's the same thing. It has the same, it probably functions the same way. It's probably the exact same gameplay. I just, it's why? 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 Why do you need Snowy Escape to get a different color lab set? Like... I'm just getting frustrated. And now my least favorite item, which actually hurts my heart and pains me to do this because I was so excited for a new wall shower. You have literally no idea. This was the item I was most excited in this pack for. I've been ranting and raving about the shower. I have plans to make my one towel bathrooms, which I mean, I still can do with this. But why is the damn mirror attached? I will never understand. Such a cool, versatile, one of a kind, special, unique item that we have. I mean, there's only one other wall shower and it looks so different. Why is the mirror attached? Please, please, why? I want to be able to style it how I want and that just, it doesn't even, I don't even get it. <laughs> it's two separate items. Like get rid of the mirror altogether or make it a separate object. Let me put whatever mirror or no mirror. I don't want to go as far as saying that it ruined the shower for me, but I'm just like severely disappointed i i know it sounds super petty but come on why 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 please separate these please please okay did, did i pick the wallpaper i'm not fond of so i don't know i mean <laughs> there you go again it's a very subjective subjective objective i don't know it's it's my list i'm sure everyone will have different thoughts and opinions um and where's my cabinet? I need I need you to turn this into cabinets and separate this and I will be a happy camper. Like that that's it. Everything else seems absolutely amazing. Just you know, just uh bake these cabinets and separate this and it's I don't know. I don't want to say perfect, but <laughs> wonderful build by mode. So there you go. Thank you for watching. Thank you again, EA Game Changers, for providing early alpha access. And uh, thank you all for watching. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss my next video. I'm going to have way more coming, world overview, all sorts of stuff. Um, some builds, maybe a little let's play. I don't know, but I will see you guys soon. And thank you. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day.